Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 17 that is adding the particle effect in the power director video. So over here we will see how to insert the effect and then how to customize the particle, particle effect as well. So over here I have got this particular video and I have added that into the track. Now what I am going to do is that I am going to add the particle effect for example so over here on the le left hand side there is a particle room and there are various types of effects like this so if you want to add these kinds of effects into your video then you can use those effects so let us say you have got this video and if you run this this is how it's looking and let us say you want to add this effect into this video then what you can do is you can drag it like this and it is saying that you do want to override it so we don't want to override it so I'm just gonna escape that and then put it over here and now if you execute or run this one so that is how that effect is gonna look like So similarly, you can add a lot of uh, effects that you like, like fairy dust, then dandelion, flower, ribbons. This is also a very interesting effect. So if you want to preview any of the effect, all you can in, uh, you can just click on that effect, and on the right hand side, it will display the preview. So like that there are lots of effects over there so over here in this there are uh, they have put these effects in different different sections like general particle frame etc so if you want to put a certain thing in the frame then you can do it like this And travel effects are also available there particle effects so that is how you can add the effects and uh, if you want to like uh, edit the effect uh, you can do that as well like say for example this is the snowflake spiral effect and uh, if you want to edit that what you can do is just right click on that and then click on modify template and once you do that pb designer will open and then over there you can edit that effect so particle designer is this is the particle designer and you can select the, uh, how you want to emit those particles like using these points or you can also rotate it like that if you want or you can also do it in a circle like this you can also mask it so this is the emit method then particle style can also be changed like swing bubble blink sp spring scale ball bubble you can change this uh, choose any of this particle style then you can also add delete the particles you can also add a particle image as well so there is a lot of flexibility over there you can add your own particles modify parameters over there let us see what settings we can do meet rate maximum count so this way you can choose like how many particles you want to emit so a lot of settings are there like that you can change the color as well so you select enable color you can choose the color right as well let's say you want to have this green particles and you can also choose fade effect enable fade in and fade out and you can choose the motion as well if you want that motion then if you preview that 
This is how it's gonna look like. So this is looking really interesting. So that is how you can add the particle effects in your videos as well as you can also edit the existing effects as well there or you can also create your own effect or a new particle or object as well by clicking on this button. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on PowerDirector.